This demo gives a quick overview of creating a profile draft and using block substitution. So right now I have a new whiff started with my default number of shafts and treadles. I'm going to create a two block profile draft. So I want to change my shafts and treadles to two. And I'll begin by just drawing a simple de design. So I've got a little something here and if I want to make it symmetrical, I can click on the warp on the design menu, mirror all. And now let's put uh, our block A and the first two treadles here. And instead of, uh, we'll just do a trumpet's writ real quick, structure only. So now there is a basic design. So the fun part starts now about how we can try different weave structures on it and come up with a project idea. The first thing we need to do is this is untitled, unsaved. You do need to save it. So we'll do a save as, and we can um, we'll put it in our profile test folder. I'll call it profile A. So we'll go back to the design menu and block substitution. Now when we click this icon, a panel comes out that shows various blocks that we can use on a profile draft to generate a weave structure. They are they have a name, we deploy these, they have a type a basic type of weave. And also you can see for the profile that you have open right now how many shafts and how many treadles are required. So if I wanted to see this in a turn 12 for example, if I s select it by clicking on the name and click generate Tempo Weave is going to generate a new design window and open it with that substitution. So I'm going to scroll zoom and you can see the, uh, the design there. At this point, if I wanted to start working with this, adding some color and things like that, I would typically want to save it. But if I'm just playing around, I want to close this window without saving, that's fine. And let's see what it would look like in a satin five. So if I did a, a five shaft satin, it would take 10 shafts and 10 treadles for this design. So let's generate that and see what it looks like. And this time, instead of zooming, we'll try the view function and do cloth view. And there's our satin design. I'll close this without saving as well. And let's look at some huck lace. I'll do this one, generate. And now we have a hook lace design that has that same basic graphic that we drew in our profile draft. So that's just a very quick uh, overview of block substitution. It's fun to play with. It's not complicated to do. Um, so I hope you have fun playing with this.